Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 5th of April 2024. I hope you are keeping well. Um, there's a case uh, just concluded in the US of a British billionaire, and that's with a B, named of Joe Lewis. Not, not a boxer Joe Lewis type, <laughs> L-E-W-I-S. Um, and uh, apparently, uh, I don't know much about this guy, but... Uh, he is 87 and has just been found guilty uh, of insider trading, a conspiracy in fact. There was a possibility of a 45 years jail cell. I mean, that's the maximum possible. Of course, nobody ever gets the maximum, but uh, he was uh, not given jail time uh, on account of his age and fined $5 million. He was given f f fined $5 million. Um, but there are a couple of things to think about here. Um, first of all, I am in agreement that 87-year-olds ought not to be sent to prison. I, I think that is really barbaric. Um, so I'm kind of in agreement with that. But on the other hand, he was 82 when he committed the crime. I mean, that's not a spring chicken, is it, to be going around committing crime? And if you're old enough to be, if you're not, if you're still young enough to be committing crime, maybe you're still young enough to be facing severe punishment. The other thing is that if he is actually a billionaire, five million dollars is loose change. Just he could, you know, if he have very big pockets, <laughs> um, like like MC Hammer or something, he could put that in his pockets. <laughs> five million dollars is nothing to a billionaire, is it? So. I think that it's time that fining systems, when I say fining systems, I mean, you know, amounts calculated for fines really ought to be designed to reflect a person's actual actual wealth. Uh, in other words, um, you know, I mean, if a, a low-level person was fined $5 million, that might be the end of them financially forever. Uh, but to him, he could pay it without even blinking an eyelid. And uh, so you know, it, it's, it's, um, it's meaningless, isn't it? So how about if systems of fines were based on what people's actual wealth uh, was rated at? Now, I know that's not... I'm just talking about in, 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 in reasonable, reasonable terms, of course. Uh, that would mean we would, might never get those incredible settlements that we've seen in the US, which are far beyond, like Giuliani and... Uh, who's that nut? job who appears on right-wing TV, Alex Jones. I mean, you know, those kind of fines might never uh, be given if because they're obviously unable to pay them. But, but I mean, in general terms, you know, if uh, people are um, given severe punishment, it ought to reflect a severe amount of their wealth, not uh, to the, the very wealthy and, and then again to people who have to pay fines. You know, it ought to reflect what they can actually pay, I think. Anyway, thought for the day. Um, let's get on with our game of Sudoku, shall we? Uh, this is the Guardian's hard level puzzle. Going to start with seven, so blocking across here and down, and down here like this. So there's a seven. We have our seven across here and seven up there. So seven in one of those two squares, blocking back in that way. And seven up here means there's another seven we've got under our belt. I can see ones blocking up here and here, so that's going to put a one into that square. And I can see nine blocking this square, so in this column there's our nine. This must be a three to complete the column. Uh, okay, I was investigating something there. It didn't quite work out. So I should come back and look for other things. Uh, maybe let's uh, start by wandering through the garden of digits. Looking for something easy.
I'm having a very cursory glance at this. I must admit, I'm not looking at all in depth, just looking, just in case there's something very obvious. Uh, I may have even skipped over something, but uh, there we go. That, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about, just looking for something really obvious like that. Nine is blocking across there, rather than looking in depth for anything. And the nine up there. Nine this way, this way. I wonder if we ought to do it again, maybe. Uh, yeah, because one across here and one down there will give us one in that square, one back this way and this way means that that's a one, one up here, one down there, one across here and there means we can actually finish the ones Three blocking across here puts three into one of these two squares, blocking up, three up here, three across there and there. So there's a three. Fours. across here now there's our eight eight blocking up there and across there there's our eight eight back down here there's the eight All right, now let's start looking uh, in a slightly different way. What are we looking for here? Two, five, and six. Uh, we've got the five up there. Actually, that puts five into one of those squares, so blocking down and five blocking down here. So there's the five. We'll be left with two, six here, which means that that's got to be a two or a six. And it means that these are not two or six. They must be three and four. Four. Any help on three or four? No. Okay. Up here we're looking for two and eight. Hmm. Over here we still need two, three, five, I think. So three and five together, that's going to be the two. And back here to finish this row will be a six. Four across here and four down here gives us four in that square. And four down and down puts four here. Um, I believe I said this was three or four, didn't I? Yeah, I did, because look, we've got the fours across there now, so that's the four, and I said that was a three. So we've got two and five here.
There we are, three down there, three across there, and there's our three. Six across here will give us six in that square. four up here and across there, there's our four, that's the last four, Uh, seven blocking across here, put seven into one of those squares, blocking down, seven across there, and there's a seven. Eight blocking up here, puts eight into one of these squares, blocking across there, so there is our eight. That should be good enough to finish the game. Eight blocking down, there's the eight, there's the two. Two blocking up here will give us two in that square. And two and five both both block this square here, so that's going to be two and five. This must be six. Six blocks down here. There's our six. There's our two. What's left? Uh, what's this? Three and six. Any help on three six? Not yet. Yes, there is because six is one of our missing digits here, so that can't be six. That must be six, that must be three. Three blocking across will give us three in that square. Three is now out of the way, out of our hair for this Sudoku puzzle. Nine blocks this square here, so in that row that's our nine, and we'll finish this row with five. Five blocking to the bottom will give us five here. This is a two if I am not mistaken. Two up there and two in one of those squares blocking back down will give us the two there. Um, what are we left with? Five, eight here. Five blocking down there. There's the five. There's the eight. The eight goes up here and blocks across there. So there's eight finished. Just little bits to do now. Let's see. What do we need? What do we need? Uh, this is what? Oh, okay. There's one digit missing down here. That's a nine. We're missing nine, right? That's a nine. That's going to be a six. We also have six blocking across here and up there, so that will finish the sixes. One number left to get here, that's a seven. Seven blocks that way, there's our seven. The missing number here is a five. Five blocks across there, there's a five. This is two. Oh, oh there's another one up there. <laughs> I almost missed the last digit. Okay, that's it. Thank you. See you around. Bye-bye.